You might as well, because if you pay for your NPC card. I've already addressed this with him. Yeah. I have the money saved up all of it. You're getting that V taper coming out. The calves look freaky. This is just a taste. Look at that density. A taste of what you're going to look like. Biceps much better. Nice. Arms are much better. Thin waist. And remember, folks, Jason gets a shave and a tan, and he gets ripped, takes out that water. It's going to be a freak show. <laughs> a freak show! Is that the freak show? I can't wait. Yep. I'm actually more excited about seeing Jason than I am to compete. Shredded, tan, shaved. You know, you know what we should do with Jason? You ever see when the UFC fighters, they'll shave an arrow into their chest hair? Yeah. Like pointing, <laughs> starting right there and going up. <laughs> Why not interject some life into that? Ball. Kimbo Slice did it. You know the old, when the New York Times had a headline and said, God is dead back in the day? Well, I heard somebody say bodybuilding is dead. Well, we're, we're going to revive it. <laughs> we're going to revive it. Everyone's doing men, uh, men's bikini. We're going to revive bodybuilding to what it should be, a freak show. Freak show. In every <laughs> sense of the word. Freak show. Spe speaking of freak shows, did you see who's uh, working the front desk this morning? Yes. Lindsay was actually watching Jason's video yes. and doing her homework at the same time. You can't get any better than that for mind stimulation. <laughs> well, Talk about multitasking. Now all she has to do is urinate into a cup while she does all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just have to say it. It's what, 7 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Almost 7. Today is my new holiday. The birthday of Christina Broccolini. Oh, June 8th. What can I say? She's an angel and an inspiration. And people ask me, what is it? You have a crush on her? You want her for a girlfriend? You want to marry her? Is that your, like a daughter figure? And I said no. She brought an emotion out to me that's unlike anything else. I don't know what it is, but I can... You just have a kinship with her, an unspoken kinship that you can't... Yes, that I never had with You anybody. can't put into words. Right, my entire life. She came in and touched my soul. And I would just like to say, you know, thank you very much. You're my angel. You're my inspiration. And my, all my workouts and everything I do in life, when I have you in mind, it just makes everything click. Oh, fuck this shit. Let's train legs, Lenny. You're right. Let's do, come on. Stay, you ever see the movie Bloodsport? Forget about the girl. Yeah. You gotta forget about the girl. Well, she's not the typical girl. She's just maybe my inspirational guru. I like to call her. If Christina, if you're ever in the South Florida area, contact Jason. We'd love to get it, see your workout. Cause you know you've been hitting the weight since a teenager. It's obvious. We like to have to start the Christina Broccolini workout. Video. Forget about the girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ever since we did the last video with Lenny, and Lenny addressed Mitz, Mr. Metzger, I have gotten bombarded with personal and private messages. Everyone's asking me, "Tell Lenny this, ask Lenny this," and I can't keep up. It's too much. So if you send me something and I don't get to it on camera, I apologize. However, there is one thing I would be remiss if I did not address with Lenny. A user on YouTube, a uh, Panther fan something, I don't remember the numbers in his name, he swears that he, about two years ago, I guess he used to live down here or does live down here, he saw you riding your bike across the street from the gym, right outside the Friendlies. A guy in a car cut you off when you were riding your bike. You guys exchanged words. He got out of the car and apparently he bitch slapped you around. You didn't fight back. He went ballistic and you quote unquote, <laughs> You quote unquote lost the fight. And would you like to address this incident or incidents? To be honest, something like that is a turning point in your life. And I always welcome a challenge to either, you know, work on my combat skills or if I get so-called my ass kicked or lost a fight, that would be tremendous motivation, which I would need, like a spurring point. And honestly, I don't remember any incidents like that. Although I will divulge this, I was riding my bike on military trail about, say, about four or five years ago. And, you know, I, occasionally I'll say someone scream out, hey, fat ass, or something like that. So there's a bunch, there was four people in a car. And I heard, hey, fat ass, so I'm riding my bike on the sidewalk. So I'm thinking, 
that light, you can see the yellow, it's about to turn red. My bike sprinted all the way up to Linton Boulevard, threw my bike down, got off the bike, threw it down, and this fat Hispanic guy covered with tattoos and appeared. Cookie cutter. Yeah. He's obviously the one that said it. He was in the rear right-hand side of the car. I went in, grabbed him, pulled him out through the window, had him up in this time of position, and I went like this, dropped him right on the sidewalk with my full body weight. And you hear a <coughs> and all the cars stopped and people getting out and laughing or whatever. Got on my bike and drove away. And it turns out a witness called the police or whatever and they and he was actually at the hospital getting treated and they said, Oh, this guy's a member of the so so called gang or whatever and his name is Mer Maurizio. And you know, I was like four hundred pounds at the time, so you could just imagine when you're holding someone like that, you just drop it right on the floor, which is very devastating. And you know, it's actually caused me a bit of pain myself, but he obviously took the worst end of it. That so, was an incident, but but there's no recollection of an incident where someone now, smacked you around and two years ago, right around the corner from Friendly's, there's a Win Dixie supermarket. Yes, which uh, for all you people that aren't down south, that's like the big. You know, that in Acme pub, or right, whatever. That in Publix. Uh, I, I drank something in here that a gym member gave me and it caused me to pass out. And actually passed out in front of the store on my bike. And it's possible while I was out cold, a guy came up and smacked me in the face. But I don't recall that, and you know, obviously I woke up and there's an ambulance running. Everyone's making a big deal about it. I'm like, you know, I'm fine, whatever. But those are the only two things I can think of. Now, you honestly going to tell me that a slap is going to cause me to lose a slap? When I invite people, you can hit me with a bat. You know. It just, it's gonna spur me on to greatness. In fact, I need to get my ass kicked. That's why I'm asking, I'm begging, I'm pleading. Because every time as a youth or whatever, when I got, I did get my ass kicked once or twice, and my father used to kick my ass on a regular basis, it spurred me on to be the great man that I am today. So, I wish I could recollect it, and I wish it happened, but it obviously didn't. And I don't know how you can mistake me for anybody else, because nobody's 320. It looks like me. I like to address the misfit maniac out there that said my pectorals look like two giant pancakes. Well, you're right. <laughs> Put some syrup on that, bitch. <laughs> Eat them. Matter of fact, we had to get Lindsay to. Well, you know, the morning is young, Lenny. Why yeah, don't you? Yeah, she wants some fresh pancakes. <laughs> Work up a little sweat. There she goes. Look at this. 320. <laughs> Look, Jake went with the Lenny. Very nice. All right, I gotta go poop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good morning to you too, Jay. You know it's gonna be a good video when Jay walks in and before he even says good morning, he says, I gotta go poop and he runs to the bathroom. Like Where's the uh, where's the nearest garbage bin? Let's keep one. There it is. I always, <laughs> I always need to know where it is when Jay's in the house. All right, we got it right over there. The best is we were working on one day and we were finished. So a whole group of people over there were on those stools. Jay said out loud, "I got to get home. I got to go jerk off." <laughs> Just like that. You got to love it. Just look at him. That's how you need to come into a gym looking like that. I had too much to drink on uh, Saturday afternoon, and I let somebody shave my head. Saved me 20 bucks. How much did he charge? <laughs> Nothing. So it was a he. <laughs> no comment. Uh-oh, that's a Freudian slip. <sighs> so Jay, do you know what you're going to train today? Big I have, I'm, I'm not really sure. I only trained three days last week. Too much partying lately. Time to focus. I started on my liver supplement over the weekend, so. Is that beer or? 
an actual liver supplement. Liver guard or liver support. Or... Who wins that battle, the beer or the liver support? It's a good battle of attrition going on in the human body. Yeah, I'm not What's really sure. Man? Get that Ursa deoxycholic acid. Look that up online. That's the number one liver cleaner on earth. Ursa deoxycholic acid. Buddy, don't be giving out advice for free. You're right. We need to be getting paid for everything. Yes, and we're not. You want to know the best liver cleaner of all? Huh. Not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that tricep. By the way, Lenny, um, a bunch of viewers asked me to correct you. The name of the BBC movie is Black Mirror. So they saw that disgusting thing. Not Black Window. How did they like it? The movie? Yes. Not sure. It's where the uh, British Prime Minister was forced to have sex with a pig. Oh my God. Oh, it's right up your alley. By Muslim terrorists and had to be televised. And uh, they had pumped him up with Viagra, put him in the room with a pig, and you hear the guy puking or whatever, and the pig squealing. <laughs> That's a good, you know. Yeah, next time I'm, I'm alone on a Saturday night or have a, have a date, sweetheart, why don't you come back to my place? I got this great movie we can watch. The Black Mirror. About a guy fucking a pig. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got Lenny warming up on the squat rack. Lenny got on the scale last week on Saturday and almost committed suicide. I'm going to go on today. If it says the same thing, this may be the last of Lenny. Why? Was it too light or was it too heavy? Too light. I was shocked. Second warm up set, and to be honest, when I look at my calves, I want to puke. It's really depressing. Anybody have any tips for me out there? Are you training geniuses? Implants? Yeah. Got that two in one shot of us warming up. How's this? Classic. Watching you two guys train almost reminds me of the old days of World Gym across the street 15 years ago with you and Kalora. Kalora will be back. I'd love to get him down here again, we'll man. We'll have a three-way. Well, also, that, that doesn't sound right. Lou D'Onofrio is getting his knee scope this week, and he promises to be joining us, Jay and I, for a back workout. He's about 320 at 510. So you this reviewers are gonna get over a thousand pounds of beef doing back in here in the next couple months. Maybe lighter than that, because Jay might decide to rip up again. Yeah. We're gonna get his picture at 260 on here for you viewers to see. And believe me, I was impressed, and that doesn't, I'm not impressed easily. He's just a modest guy, but you know, where do you viewers get a load of that? Do you want the garbage bin today, Jay, or are you good? You're good? I don't know if I'm going to go heavy. I haven't squatted in two weeks, and I missed hamstrings last week, so hey, I need hey, to be hey, careful. Well, what do you consider heavy? Because you already have 315 on the bar. Yeah, that's nothing. That's not heavy? No. All right, we got Big Lenny, we got Big J, both. Warming up, warming up. Squatting 315 here. J Jay's taking a very wide stance. Jay, do you usually squat with that wide of a stance? Yeah, I have a powerlifter background, so I'm not going to change at this late in life. I'm 46 years old, 324 pounds. Six feet tall, for anyone wondering. So how many Misfit viewers have the same statistics? I'd like to see it. Post Six. some videos, all you big mouths out there. I want to see it for inspiration. Check out the quad cuts, three months out. Is that density or what? All that bike riding. I don't have my knee sleeves with me today, uh, so I'm gonna just try and get five nice ones with 405. 
not out to break any records. I had knee surgery last September, so just taking it easy. Yeah, you know, how many of you maniacs out there have surgery to quit lifting or don't squat? All right. Nice depth. These are no old man chuck squats. <laughs> Good depth, huh? Yes. Were those power lifter legal to all you knuckleheads out there? Are you cookie cutting porn addicts that don't know how to lift? That do supersets? I go think that a workout's a cardio workout? Well, that's cardio. Put that on your fucking back early in the morning. What do you say? Is like drinking all weekend? Just came back from Coral Springs? That's a good 45 minutes down south. And it's humid down I've been here. living on Captain Morgan and pineapple coconut seltzer water. That's my training secret. I need to jump on that diet right there. <laughs> All right, I'm done squatting.